Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel Ray and today I have some cross stitch and stuff to show you. So welcome in. If this is your first time, hi. <laughs> How's things? I'm not the chef. <laughs> um, I actually am a crafter and I do a lot of diamond painting and I started learning how to cross stitch in 2019. Started knit knitting in 2020 and now I'm just obsessed. I just do all the things. So welcome in and consider subscribing if you haven't already. If you're coming back, welcome back. Um, today is going to be uh, a fun little update. Uh, I hope that you all are enjoying your spooky season, as am I. Uh, I have a completed object, which I'm wearing. Uh, and I'm going to get into this a little bit later, but I am just so happy with it. I'll give you all the details soon. Before we get started, though, I had a giveaway last time. I asked... If anyone would like the Lizzie Kate Boo Squared, and I asked if you would write the word boo in a comment, I will draw your name to win this chart. Uh, all you needed to do was fill in my happy mail form, be 18 or over, and, you know, comment. And the winner is Kathy, Kathy Kelleher. Thank you so much, Kathy. I hope that you enjoy stitching on this and please be sure to tag me or email me or let me know. I would love to see a finished, uh, a finished, your finish on this as I would enjoy seeing anyone's finish for anything that you may have won on my channel. Um, all I ask for giveaways is that you fill in the form uh, if you haven't already. Uh, I did a bit of a bit of a lecture on it last time just because I think that a lot of people have already filled in the form, but they did that a few years ago, back when I was allowed to collect all the information. Now I can only collect your email address. So please fill it in again if you haven't filled it in this year. So I do have a giveaway for you today as well, but um, just, you'll have to wait. You have to, you have to watch a little bit of the video, okay? <laughs> Um, I have some exciting cross stitch stuff to share with you. Uh, I don't have any finishes, but I do have whips and I do have plans. So let me show you this first one, right? Uh, I did not, I think the last time that I shared this was ages ago. If I do have a picture, I will pop it in here on the screen. But this particular piece is called The Midnight Way by the Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery. And last time I had not yet finished filling in the orange book here with the side with the pages and everything. I hadn't finished that yet. Uh, and I completed that book and the top book. And so this entire piece here, the Ghostwriters Bookshop, is now complete. The details on this one, this was a kit that I purchased from the homemakery.co.uk. You can purchase kits online in the US as well, and maybe in Australia too, uh, that are still available. They're definitely still available in the Homemakery's website. Um, this is a 28 count picture, this plus in the color whimsy, and it is a bit more lavender in person. It's coming off in my eyes, in my screen, it's coming off as gray, but you know how colors are, right? On the internet. So uh, yes, this is finished. So the shops on Midnight Way are complete. And now I just need to do the bottom border and it will be done. So my goal is to actually do this by the end of the month, hopefully, fingers crossed. And I'm gonna start with the words Midnight Way at the bottom here in the center and mark, work my way out. Uh, this part down here has a lot of color changing, so it's not my favorite to do, so I'm hoping that I can do this on stream this week. If you'd like to come and join me, I'm over on twitch.tv slash Rachel Ray Craft, all one word, and I will be live on Tuesday the 10, 11th, is that right? Tuesday the 11th at 11 a.m. GMT plus one Irish time. I live in Ireland, by the way. <laughs> so um, I will be working on this uh, for a solid six hours, probably, um, over on Twitch Tuesday. So that is the plan. Super exciting. Then... I showed you last time that I'd started a brand new project, which I have had in my stash for 
eons. It's been kitted up for at least a year. And it is <laughs> my project bag, which was from Evertotes uh, in Canada. It's now covered in Lunifer because we have reached, we have reached the season. It is time. <laughs> it is time for my dog to molt. Uh, she's a collie, so she has an undercoat. And every day, every day I'm brushing her and vacuuming. But anyway, so I would have put up a picture. I'm going to use one of these charts to back the piece. There we go. There we go. We don't need to see my pretty pumpkin lights in the background. Um, this is Lindy Stitches. I, I'm all backwards. Here's where I was last time. <laughs> Sorry. I'm trying to make this a habit. I really am. I promise. This is where I was last time. And this is where I am this time. This is Lindy Stitches. Uh, Dracula's Confession, the vertical version. This is going to fit in an 8x10 frame. I'm so excited. Now, I'm not using the called for cab fabric. Called for fabric was murky by Picture of This Plus, which I don't have. And I, I can't get it. I'm sorry. I, I wish I could. I just, I just can't. Last year, I, uh, or for this year, I canceled all of my fabric subscriptions and just... Yeah, you know how the world is going right now, right? You know how we're all kind of, I mean, give me a break. I'm, I'm making ham. I'm making lunch meat for the next few weeks in my slow cooker right now because the price of ham is insane. So anyway, mm, uh, the personal is political. Uh, my, my goodness, I've hit 20%. I'm over 20% now on this piece. There is a lot of backstitching that needs to happen up here. Um, what I really love about this piece is that uh, Stephanie of Lindy Stitches makes these little mini borders. They're not they're they're not connected and they're not um, repetitive. I really enjoy stitching things for like stitching a motif for a little while, but I don't like it if it's just the whole piece. It gets so, even though it looks so beautiful right now, what I'm thinking of is the Barbara Anna. There's a Barbara Anna with this beautiful holly berry border. It's gorgeous. And my friend Heike did it, but I did purchase the pattern, but I just don't know. I don't know. I'd have to step away a few times. Anyhow, more about this. This is 20, no, no. This is 32 count gilded by Mystic Fabrics. This is a fabric of the month and it's a beautiful golden color. It is a little richer than it is coming out on the camera. Um, don't know why my filming light is just not, not doing it today. Probably too far away from me today, but anyhow, I'm using Dinky Dyes Silk. So this is Black Coral by Dinky Dyes in the body of the bat. Sorry about the squeaky chair. And it is stripey and I don't care. I like them stripey. I like, I like easy stitching, so I like them stripey. It's all good with me. Luna says hi, by the way. Um, so the rest is all DMC. It's the called for, except there is here, this line right here, there is a DMC that I don't have, um, DMC 04. So I'm using two, two colors of DMC together as a blend. And Heike helped me with this. It is 318 and 414 held together. For, for that. And soon I'll be moving into the Valdani um, that I that I bought for this piece. And that is what it looks like. I am currently watching BBC's Dracula and enjoying every second of it. Um, very interesting. I love I love the well I guess it's really not. It was came out in 2020, so it's not really a surprise or a spoiler anymore. But I love the gender bend uh, for Van Helsing because um, 
I just, representation matters. And I like it. I, I like that kind of thing. Okay, I like switching it up. I like to switch up the old story, make it new, make it fun and interesting. I love that. I love that in entertainment and media and people have been doing it since the beginning of time with theater. So just, you know, I love it. So that was the cross stitch I did this week. I think, I think I don't have it in front of me, but I'm pretty sure that I did something like 1500. Not even, not even. I did 20%. <laughs> I got to 20%. That's good enough. Uh, Midnight Way is almost done. Super excited. So plans for cross stitch. Um, more, more Halloween stitching. I have lots of Halloween stitching. We went through it on Twitch, uh, but I'd like to continue working, especially get Midnight Way done because that, that is kind of like my big goal. I really enjoy working on Dracula, but at the moment it's like I put in a long strand of silk and that's me done for the night. You know what I mean? Um, uh, I do want to touch other whips, but I, I am pushing for a finish on Midnight Way. So if I get Midnight Way done soon, my next plan of attack is actually in here. So I don't really talk about my bags all too often. Um, Midnight Way is in an 805 stitcher bag. I've shown it before. Look at it, it's so cute. I have, a, I have a soft spot for cute things. This one is a patchwork paw print bag, which I can't show you because I can't turn around just yet. Hold. It has a see-through. I like the see-through bags. I'm going to be honest. I really like see-through see bags. But my next plan of attack is Halloween at Hawk Run Hollow. Now, one thing that if, if you're new here and you haven't met me before, I really like Halloween. I really like fall. Fall is my season. Um, people tell me that they notice that I have, I perk up a lot and I get happier during this time of year, even though I hate the color orange and I do not like DMC 300 and 400. Okay. But anyhow, there's lots of that in here, um, but I absolutely love this. And this is one of those pieces. It's like Blacked Sky for me. Um, I love it. It's so dense. It's so dense. But right now, I, I made a center start. I really want to get the cauldron done. Now, I've started on this witch, but I really want to get the cauldron done. So let me show you where I'm at. We'll see if I get to it this week. I don't know, but here it is. I apologize for my shakes. Maybe I had too much coffee. I don't know. But see, see the cauldron is huge. <laughs> I don't understand it's so big so um this is let me take out my piece of paper that has all the details on it this is an s ward designs project tracker sheet you can get them on etsy and print them out yourself or you can have her print them for you and send them to you um it's s ward designs uh on etsy this is 28 5 count lugana in the colorway s'mores by b stitch me i'll open it completely I'm stitching this one over one. Taking it out makes me want to work on it immediately. Do you ever get like that with cross stitch? Do you ever get like that? Just touching this makes me want to work on it. Um, yes, so I purchased this piece of fabric. I think I believe that this was on one of those, you know, Friday night fight nights that B Stitch Me has on her Facebook page. Check it out. If you're in the States, totally worth it. Um, it's in your time zone. <laughs> it's closer to you. But anyway, um, that is where I am on this piece. And I've only worked like three days on it last year. 
and maybe one day this year. I think we did do a little bit of her. We did like her dress down here um, during Maester Avaganza, <laughs> which will come back next year as well. Uh, but I will be away for half of May. So there's only so much I can really do. Maybe we'll do a, um, maybe we'll do an April extravaganza instead. Cause I will be, I will be at Stitch North next, next May. So I'm traveling to Toronto to go hang out with all of my stitchy friends literally all of my stitchy friends uh, most of my stitchy friends are going to be there so it's going to be really fun I'm getting really excited um I love traveling anyway but like this will be my first ever retreat as well and I just can't wait to give everybody big hugs so let's do a giveaway um please do not use the word giveaway in your comment your your comment will be deleted by YouTube so please don't do that um, or use the word win or anything like that. It gets flagged. Um, please just use, well, I'll give you a word here in a second. Please follow my fat happy meal form. Please be 18. Be a subscriber. I hope, I hope that you subscribe. I'm going to give it this away today. This is uh, darling and whimsy designs, quirky Quaker called cauldron. And this is actually the version that came with my box last year. So I got a Halloween box, countdown box, and this was in it. So this is the first print. Um, not that that really makes much of a difference, but I have it. I'm willing to give it away. Um, I prefer to work from digital charts anyway, so I don't mind giving it away. Uh, you can use whatever two colors you want, or you can use multiple colors. It's completely up to you. Um, she says you could use any, any fabric that you want as well. I would just use a remnant or an ornament cut and go ahead and, and stitch it up. Um, make sure to follow her on, on Instagram, darling and whimsy designs. And please just use the word cauldron in your comments, C-A-U-L-D-R-O-N, which works perfectly with the fact that I want to work on uh, my cauldron on the Halloween at Hawk Run Hollow. So that is our, actually, do you know what? I have two, I have two giveaways today. So there's number one, okay? I was looking through uh, the charts that I have and I'm gonna actually pull out the picture so you can see it better, crinkle, crinkle. I picked this up from Casa Sanina a few months ago. <clears throat> I tried to go through there and every, anytime that I need to buy DMC or, cause they're my online needle workshop for things like floss. Um, when I'm looking for something, I always put a few of these charts in my, my cart and check out with them for you. So thank you for watching. Um, this one is called Eight Crazy Nights and this is a Hanukkah um, cross stitch. So there are three patterns in here and this is pickle barrel designs. The first one says it's lit. Hopefully it'll, there we go. It's lit then oi to the world and happy holidays. Pretty sure that's how you say that. Um, pretty sure that's how I heard it growing up. So I hope that that's correct. Um, I had, I had a friend. So, uh, if you would like to win this, uh, hmm, use the word pickle, <laughs> pickle, please. P I C K L E. So what I'll do is next week when I go to sit down and, and, um, get my floss tube ready to go, ready to film. I will use the YouTube random comment picker website and look up those two words and it'll give me a name. It'll give me a comment. Last week it was, there were 17 comments. So thank you so much to the 17 people for wanting it. Um, but yes, it chooses a name and then I go check the happy mail form to make sure that I have your email address. And if I do, I send you an email right away, letting you know what you want and for you to give me your mailing address. So that is that. Those are the two giveaways this week. Um, but don't go anywhere because I have more to share with you. I'm going to interrupt the video uh, 
as you were watching it because I totally forgot to share with you my diamond painting progress. So I am also working on a diamond painting and I was tracking my hours. I have since kind of cut back on that. It's, it's just, it was good for a month. I knew, I knew deep down why I was working so fast and so hardcore on my marathon for MMIWG2S. I knew in the back of my mind why that was. Two months is just too long for me. So here is my progress. Last time you saw it, I was over here. And now I've finished all of this. I've got a couple more, you can see the holes in there, a couple more drills to lay down in there. And then moving forward, it's it's looking beautiful. I'm not going to unroll it because it's, it's big. <laughs> it's big. But there is a picture on my Instagram if you are so inclined to go look at it. Um, I'm hoping to have this done as soon as possible because I have another project that I want to work on. And I showed it to, no, I showed it to uh, people who watch my vlogs uh, last time. So mm. go watch my vlogs. <laughs> I have more to show you, namely what I'm wearing. So I have a big finish this week. And this is the Stony Shore Cardigan by Evelyn and Peter. The designer's name is Rachel, which is great. Um, I saw this online in January when she released the pattern and I knew I wanted to crochet this. It has pockets. <laughs> Try to get into the frame here. It has pockets. On the front I'm not much of a model y'all but hey so it has it has pockets it's super comfy it is airy like it's not smothering me but it's so warm so I'm wearing a short sleeve shirt underneath the cardigan and I can feel that there's airflow here so I'm not getting all like hot. I think that's really important if you're a bigger person or if you're at the stage of your life where you might be feeling a bit warm a lot. Um, so there's good airflow here, uh, but it's nice and cozy. And when I'm, when I'm hot, it's cool. And when I'm cool, it's hot. So I like that. This is made out of the Chromia Adria Fill, which is right over there. Let me, let me just show you what it is. Okay. So this is the Adria Phil Chromia. I have one and part of another balls left. Thanks to a very lovely human being uh, who watches my Twitch streams and hangs out. So this particular color that I'm wearing was discontinued in 2020. I had purchased enough to make this cardigan which is a lot less involved because it's stockinette it's knitted um, but I didn't like it it was really boring uh, to do so I like things that have more you know variety so every row was a different stitch and even though it was the same two stitches the back and forth was exciting enough to me that it made it interesting and fun to actually crochet um, the construction, you've got ribbed, oh, just tuck that in. <laughs> you've got ribbing here, which starts with a foundation crochet. And this pattern, by the way, is free. So you can actually go online. I'll put a link in the description box for you. Um, the, the you, you can do the video tutorial, which is good. It's good. It's helpful. So ribbed cuffs and then you do a single crochet row and then you do bobbles and you do double crochet. Now the sleeves have a, a, a little bit of a different construction because you are, it's bubbling up. You've got a, you double it here to make it kind of do this lantern sleeve thing. That's what it looks like to me anyway. But the sleeves are relatively short because the panels and the back are relatively long which just makes it really cozy and comfy. And when I stand up, you can see that it's a slouchy cardigan. 
Ta-da. Sachi cardigan with my ends coming out. <laughs> Don't judge me. <laughs> um, these ones, yeah, they just need to get tucked in. It's fine. It's fine. So this is my new house coat. Um, free, as I said. Just make sure that you purchase enough yarn at the beginning. The, the Chromia yarn was a little bit, if you have it in your stash, um, it is hairy. <laughs> it's fuzzy. It is a mix of acrylic and wool. It doesn't say exactly. It sticks. It's very sticky. I think you'll know what I'm talking about. Uh, if you try to frog it, it'll take a long time to frog. And that's what happened at the beginning of this cardigan. I actually, so I frogged out my knitted project, which I had about that much done. Then I started on this back panel first and realized that it was too wide. And so I, I synced it, synced it, cinched it. I, I frogged it and I cinched it in. So the, the size that I did, I wanted to make sure that this seam actually met the side of my body. You see how it fits the side? Again, I'm not a model and this is my first crocheted wearable, but I wanted it to fit the side of my body on the back panel because I knew that the front panels were going to be nice and big and this is very stretchy. So <sighs> trial and error happened. It did not take me as long as I thought it would. Um, but at the same time, I kind of wish it had gone faster. I think that if I had dedicated more time to this project and not started like a bunch of other projects, then I probably would have had it done pretty quickly. And if I didn't do all the other crafts, <laughs> if I didn't do all the other crafts, I would of course have things done quicker, right? But I love all of the things, so I do all the things. This is finished with a single crochet border that happens three times. You go around, and then you go back, and then you go around again, and it's simple. Really simple, really easy, uh, and I'm delighted. I'm delighted that I have a new house cardigan, and I made it myself. And it's cute. It's cute. I like it. I like how chaotic the colors are. That is this. <laughs> And then, and then, I did not knit on my Habitation Throw baby blanket. Um, I did start another Habitation Throw it, with, with the foresight, the intention of using up my scraps in a Habitation Throw instead of doing the Cozy Memory Blanket, which is a mitered square blanket. If you've seen me talk about this before, it's basically just, there's another free pattern online. You can get it, you can pay for, you can pay for a PDF version, which is helpful, but it's basically just these squares and down the diagonal of them is a um, increase, decrease. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it, but they look cool. My heart wants me to do it, but my brain does not have the capacity for that. I, I put it down for too long and then I come back to it and I don't remember the stitches and then I have to watch the video all over again and I just don't want to do it. So we're going to make another habitation throw with the scraps of all my old projects. And speaking of scraps, I need to pick up my cowl again. Um, I'm doing the um, Casa, no, 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 on Catan Bjug the cat pattern. I can't even remember the name of it. I'm so sorry, but I need to finish that as well. It is made with my scraps though. So I have to use up yarn in order for there to be scraps, right? I did cast something else on. I talked about it last time. This is the hibernation throw. No, hibernation scarf. No. What is it called? <laughs> Hang on. Um, I'm using an app for this project. Uh, I put it in an app called Row Counter. I don't know if you have tried this app before. No, it's called Northern Warmth. <laughs> 
I'm so sorry. Northern Warmth by Victoria Shevchuk. S-H-E-V-C-H-U-K. Um, th I found this on Ravelry. This is a garter stitch. Uh, garter stitch sl with slip stitches. Uh, pattern, I think it only uses knit, purl, and slips. That's it. Uh, and so I told y'all that I wanted to use my beautiful alpaca yarn. <gasps> Look, I kicked it up. It's so soft. It's so, so soft. It's also very hairy. What is it with me and hairy things? I don't know. But um, these are my colors. My main color is green and my accent color is red. And this is going to be my winter scarf, my super warm winter scarf. I have started. I am 12 rows in. Now I get to put my, my marker on so I can show you where I am next time. But this is how far I've gotten. I have a temporary stitch marker on there just to show me the right side. Isn't that cool? So it's just garter. It does stretch out, by the way. Um, it just, you know, <laughs> it's alpaca. So when it's when it's not blocked, that's that's the size it'll be when it's when it's blocked. Um, but yeah, it's oh, it's gonna be so cozy. I can't wait. This is great TV knitting. Uh, I am planning on printing out the pattern so that I can because you can pay to get the premium version of the row counter app and it'll allow you to highlight the pattern but your girl is saving money right now so uh, I, I I'm just gonna do it the old school method here we go here's my stitch marker isn't it cute it's a little it's a little donut you can find stitch markers like this on Etsy. This one is made, uh, handmade with polymer clay. And it looks just like a chocolate glazed donut that has a bit of holly on it. I decided to use that for this project for reasons. Northern Warmth, it's called. If you look on, on Ravelry, it's definitely there. Uh, if you want a non-Ravelry pattern, just Google. And I'm using my Cottage Number no. 9 bag. I have repurpose this bag. This bag has been holding a different project in it for years, literally. This project. This project is a really old temperature shawl project, which is made out of this ship just, sorry y'all, 100% cotton. Um, and oh, it's my grandma's hair. I'm going to keep that in there. Um, this. Yeah. It's a temperature, temperature shawl. Easy peasy temperature shawl. It's just very time consuming and boring. <laughs> but maybe I'll come back to that. It's from the year 2020. All the temperatures of where I was in the year of 2020. We'll see. We'll see about that. I don't know. I might I might sacrifice it and use the yarn for something else. If you have an idea for really, really thin cotton yarn, let me know. Um, but that's it. I will have a another video coming out, which is my Vlogoween video. So if you would like to see, I am unboxing Kunta Darn, a German yarn shop on Etsy. They have advent calendars and I purchased one and I'm opening it for this month even though it's meant for you know winter month um I'm opening it this month because I wanted to to check in every day and you know be goofy um but I do have other things on the way that will be here um specifically from the frozen crafter if you haven't seen the frozen crafter go check out her channel here on YouTube. She's also a floss tuber and she owns Jonesy Stitchery 
and I bought a little Halloween grab bag from her shop. So super excited for that to come so that I can open that as well while we open up some yarn, some pretty yarn. So I hope to see you there as well. I hope that you're having a wonderful weekend, that you're taking care and staying safe out there. Uh, thank you to everybody who has donated to the marathon for MMIWG2S. Thank you to everyone who has decided to come into the Zoom that is happening on the 30th of October. There's that one more Zoom that uh, is happening. Uh, Jesse Mislaid Pages is running that. Um, thank you to everyone who has left wonderful, kind comments. Uh, I am looking forward to making a Floss 2 video where I answer comments. So if you have any questions about cross stitch specifically, cross stitch or knitting specifically, please let me know in this video and I will answer them in the next one. Take care everyone, stay safe, and I'll see you next time. Bye!